on the road tomorrow. And then home Saturday. Send a big swing and a miss. And a breaking ball inside. And Steyerwalt starts it off with a strikeout of Jones. And here comes Willie Salas. Hoping to get some more of that tonight here from Steyerwalt. Another payoff pitch. Here it is. Swing and a pop up on the infield. And Valera drifting back. And he makes the catch on the infield. Finding it. Very difficult to win games right now. Swung on, foul tipped into the glove of Javier. It's a 1-2-3 inning for Steyerwalt after half an inning here from Winter Chevrolet Stadium. Two on, nobody out here for the Diamonds. An error and a walk setting the table here for Pittsburgh in the first. Bracamonte swings and... Trying to go to the gap, but ranging over is Coleman to make the catch. Smith tags at second. He'll reach third. Throw is cut off. So it's an out, but a productive out here by Bracamonte. Yeah, here's Philo. Another breaking ball. This one lifted into center field. On comes Ramirez. He can't get it. He's going to fire home, and the run will score. As Smith, no slide, scores. And the Diamonds take an early one to nothing lead with the RBI. Two balls, two strikes. Here it is. Swing the ground ball left side. There's a base hit. Blotnick going to take the turn at third. Here he comes. He'll make it without a throw. The Diamonds lead it two to nothing. Filos 0-1 pitch. Here it is. Swung on into center field. Is it going to get down? Diving for it is Ramirez. He can't get it. One run scores. Blatnik hustles his way over to third base. And with two down now, the Diamonds have him cornered. And Bracamonte has picked himself up a base hit and an RBI in a two-out situation. Three to nothing, Pittsburgh. Sounds familiar. <laughs> oh, one pitch swing, ground ball right side. Garcia to his left, has it. Little toss over to Lashley at first base. After Steyerwalt got Kendall Coleman. Here come the Silverados. That one's going to be punched in the left field. That's going to be a base hit. Quitzer's got it. Here comes the runner around there. Here comes the throw. It's not in time and sliding home safely. With the first Silverado run of the ball game is Nick Stoll. Here's the pitch, swing, ground ball, Blotnick trying to, Bracamonte can't come up with it, Valera can, the throw's low, gets away from Lashley, here comes the runner from third, here comes the throw home, not in time, and now it's three to two. Here's Nico Tony swinging a ground ball to short, Valera to second for one, back to first, a double play, and the Diamonds in the inning. One month out of the college season. One pitch, and that one's hammered into left field. That's a base hit. Here comes Valera. Here comes the throw. Way offline. This one gets away. Both runners are going to move up. And the Diamonds pick up run number four. They lead it four to two. He picked up the RBI. Swinging. This one's hit hard. Up and over the leaping second baseman. Stole into right field for a base hit. The Diamonds score again. Quits her across the plate. 5 2 Pittsburgh. Here it is. Swung on. That's hit hard. That's a base hit into left field. Garcia scores. Here comes another run. Smith will score. And just like that, it's 8 to 2 in favor of Pittsburgh. A two RBI base hit for Bracamonte. Next year, they can be a whole lot better at the start of the season. There goes the runner to second, the third, and no one was throwing the pitching the ball, and it tagged out at third base is Montalongo. The, for those of you who don't remember, it's probably 90%. This pitch is swung on MS for strike three. That's out number one. Um, the pitch from Steyerwald to swung on bounded to the right side right at lastly. He makes the stop, goes to second for one, back to first, and that's going to be not, it, not in time Ooh, on the mound. That one is over the third base bag, and it's a fair ball. Down into the corner, over to pick it off in the left field corner is Quitzer, and his throw is going to go into third, but coming into score will be Ashoka. And now it is a 8-4 to four game here. Here's a pitch from Steyerwalt, swung on, and this one is lifted down the left field line, and it could be trouble. It is trouble. It's fair ball. Rounding third and coming into score is Kern, and on at second base is Coleman as they exchange positions, and the score is now 8-5. to five. 
This ball grounded up the middle. That's a base hit. And that's going to bring in Coleman. And that's going to make the score 8-6. to six As Rashioka is on the first base with a single. So in coming into pitch will be Sam Agnew Wheeland as Steyerwalt is sent to the showers if we had showers. Out of four, right? Oh, it's not. Yeah, that's a horrible stat. That's yeah. a horrible stat, no doubt about that. This one's right up the middle, and here comes the payoff for the Silverados as Jones, as Yashioka rounds third and comes in to score from second base. Straight. Foul ball since then. There goes Jones. Here goes the pitch, and he hits it deep to left field. And back goes Quitzer. It is gone. And you want to talk about just a graded bat. And wow. too bad for the Diamonds, but that one just kept going on and on and on, and it ends with a two-run blast. And I don't want to say just like that because it took forever. <laughs> it took forever. But now look who's in the lead here. It's the Silverados by one. Salas fouled off 11 straight balls, 11 straight pitches that were offered to him. Agnew Wheeling to the plate, and that pitch is strike three called. So Tony is a strikeout victim here, but that is one batter too late as the Diamonds give up six runs here in the sixth inning. Down by one run, the Diamonds. The pitch is inside, it gets by. Down to second goes Bracamonte, and he's in scoring position. And Wheeling trying to put Montalago away. Right-handed batter away. 2-2 two -two pitch. Swung on it, missed strike three. As Josh goes out of the strike zone to try to hit the fastball, he can't catch up. Payoff pitch, here it is. Swing, ground ball right side, headed up the middle. Backhanded by Stoll, throws the first and it's dropped, and it looked like it hit Montalongo in the face, and here comes the tying run to score in Smith, and Montalongo in a whole lot of pain. Coleman waits, here's the 2-2. Swung on in mid strike three. And there is out number one here in the eighth, and that'll bring up Nick Stoll. Here's the 3 2. Here it is. And a cold strike three on the outside corner, and that will do it. So Alex Leach makes the nice pitch, puts up the zero. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. Still tied, nine apiece. So a pretty big hole on that right side of the infield here. Here's the pitch, swing and a miss. And that is strike three as Kern is out number two. So a big out number two there. And here comes Kendall Coleman. So we have a pitching change. Cam Hatch coming in for Alex Leach. Two on, two out for the Silverados. A 9-9 tie. We'll be back in just a moment. Taking his warm-up tosses. Diamond's... Trying to get this one to the bottom of the ninth. A 9-9 tie here from Pittsburgh. So the game right now teetering in the balance here. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Here's the pitch. Swing, and that ball hit hard to right field. But that one is playable for Blatnick. He's got it. And that is out number three. And the pitch swung on. That's going to oh. be a nearly a... A reaching, leaping catch, but that's going to get up and over the outstretched glove of Salas at short. So dynamic here tonight. Pitch to Bracamonte. Swing, fouls this one off. Is it going to stay in play? Oh. And jumping up to make the catch and doing a nice job of it. I think it's Devante. It's Ramirez, I think, again. It's Ramirez again, the first baseman. 0-1 oh, pitch, swing, and that ball hit hard. Oh, trouble. Right field and deep, way back, reaching up, and this one is going to get over the head of the right fielder. Smith scores, and the Diamonds win the ball game. <laughs> Joe Carranza does it again. What an incredible year he has had for the Diamonds. Joel Carranza deep to right field. I thought initially Coleman was going to make the great catch. Oh, it is over, <laughs> and here comes the Gatorade bucket. <laughs> so he is splashed with cold water. Joel Carranza is the hero tonight. Diamonds win it in walk-off fashion by a final score of 10-9. And, Scotty, how about that for a ball game? Well, they have proved again that they are not just uh, a flash in the pan. They had to struggle to come back 
from behind. They led by so much, they gave up that lead. They came back, they tied the ball game. And here, when it looked like in the ninth inning with two outs, they weren't gonna quite be able to get it done. Carranza, of course, comes up for the game-winning RBI. And uh, what a way to finish uh, this game against Napa and head tomorrow.